I think in one of the videos I watched, you mentioned uh, Don Knuth. Uh, well, at least recommending his, uh, you know, his his book is something people should read. Oh yeah. But in terms of you know theoretical computer science, do you do you see something beautiful in, in, that has been inspiring to you? Speaking of n log n, in your work on programming languages, uh, that's in the in the that whole world of algorithms and complexity and you know these kinds of more formal mathematical things um or did that not really stick with you in your programming life it, it did stick pretty clearly for me because one of the things that i care about is being able to sort of look at a piece of code and and be able to prove to myself that it works, um, you know, and you know. So, so for example, I find that um, I'm I'm at odds with many of the people around me over um, issues about like how you lay out a piece of software, right? You know, so so. Software engineers get really cranky about how they format their the documents that are the programs, you know, where they put new lines and where they put, you know, the, the braces, the and braces, the braces and all the rest of that, right? And I tend to go for a, a style that's very dense. Hmm. Um, so minimize the white space. Um, yeah, well, to maximize the amount that I can see at once, right? right? So I like to be able to see a whole function and to understand what it does rather than have to go scroll, scroll, scroll and remember, right? Yeah, I'm and, with you on that. Yeah, that's, and and people don't like that? Yeah, I've, I've had, <laughs> I, I've had, you know, multiple times when engineering teams have uh, staged what is effectively an intervention, <laughs> um, uh, you know, where they, they, they invite me to a meeting and everybody has arrived before me and they sort of all look at me and say, James, about your coding style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of an odd person to be programming because I don't think very well verbally. Um, I am just naturally a slow reader. Um, I'm what most people would call a visual thinker. So when you think about a program, what do you, what do you see? How I do see you pictures, right? So when I look at a piece of code on a piece of paper, it very quickly gets transformed into a picture. Um, and you know, it's almost like a, a piece of machinery with, you know, this connected to that and like these gears, gears and knobs different and sizes. And yeah. 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 I, I see them more, more like that than I see the, 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 the sort of verbal structure or the lexical structure of, of letters. So then when you look at the program, that's why you want to see it all in the same place. Then you can just map it to something visual. Yeah, and what it just kind of like doing? like it leaps off the page at me, and yeah, what um, are the inputs? What are the outputs? What the heck is this thing doing? Yeah, and yeah, getting a whole vision of it. 